Deep and don't come easy, no. As we go for the show, down in the sound, then she turns herself round. She says, "It's it, it's the end of the joke." This is raining all day, and she loves to be one of the boys. Said, "Isn't she?" Pretty in pink. No, 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 no. Definitely no, no, Johnny, no. No, we did not unadd you. We didn't delete you. We didn't do none of that. I know for a fact. The last that we left off with you was I gave us gave us a message. Explaining how busy you are and all this kind of stuff, and you got to catch up with this and you got to catch up with that. And we said fine, and we explained you know what we do here, numerous of times over and 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 over again. So uh, I guess we can take the, some more time here, unless uh, we can quickly think of something else to talk about here. I mean, once I uh, once I start some, once I start talking about something, I just never stop. I like the Energizer battery. I'm like Mick. I'm like uh, Strutter here. And by the way, in that song, that beautiful song, it's like when there's like 50, 50, 57, I think, 58 seconds left of the song. You know, on the video, he's like, my best, my best. My bad. And then you hear, like, in the background, you're like, oh, 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 my best, my best, my best. Oh, excuse us if we, uh, if we burp or anything like that. We just had some turkey. Yes, with corn, mashed potatoes. Uh, I couldn't finish my, um, my dinner last night. Actually, I, because I had to go over and get some cookies, and, you know, my aunt, and her son was there, her son, and had a very, very, very good opening conversation. I mean, you can't get everything done all at once. I mean, I have respect, I have humility, I'm a, I'm a shy kind of person, and, uh, you know, I care about people, I really do, I really care about people a lot. You know, I'm that kind of I'm a people's person, even though I got shut out and all that kind of stuff. I mean, maybe there might be a comeback, you know. Who knows? But like I often said, I, I didn't do the show right for, uh, for various, various, various reasons. And for various different kinds of um, interference and, and political. The political stuff killed me. Killed me to talk about it. Like this morning, like I'm looking... You know, I see this one guy that I'm, I'm still friends with. I know he's in the human service field. And I happened to get rid of two. I got rid of two of his buddies recently. But no, Johnny, I did not get rid of you. The only reason I got rid of them is because they don't talk to me. And I know them. I worked with one. And, uh, you know, that same kind of thing. Like where, where you go to the wall, they talk to everybody but you. And they like everything but your stuff. And... I'm like, well, I mean, what are you supposed to do? You know, what do you, I mean, really, what are you supposed to do? I mean, last I left off, I had a conversation about, you know, about a few people, and I was asking about uh, a person, and uh, I guess they didn't like what I said. I mean, I don't, I don't think I, I don't think it was anything bad. It was mostly how you doing, like, you know, I mean, where are they, this, that. But, you know, it might, to them it might be creepy and stuff like that, and especially it happened a while back. Anyways. We don't want to get off into a rant here, or we don't want to get off into a rant or anything like that. We want to get to Singapore. We have Rodman, Dennis Rodman. He's going to meet uh, Donald Trump there. Which, by the way, uh, in 67 years, no one has gotten this far. No one has even tried. Basically because everybody's been scared. You know, They've been scared to negotiate, and they don't know how to do it. But Donald Trump is one of those kinds of uh, people that, you know, he can 
break an egg and show you how to make an omelet maybe 57 different ways. Or maybe 55. Is there 55 states, Twinkles? Hey. So, uh, we got the psychedelic furs here. Love my way. She's playing there. And, uh, we're old school today. We got home field advantage. This is home field advantage here for us. We're gonna go up and get the cubbies. But there's something up there that they don't have. And what's the sense of going to two stores? Because I would have to come back down here anyways and get it. And we can shave a little bit on the gas. Gas is not too much because, you know, Obama fixed everything like that for us. You know, with Iran and stuff like that. You know, he gave him wads of cash. All right, I'm going to pull some weeds out of here. Actually, Tommy is um is the, is the son of my Aunt Lisa. And uh, he's an anesthesiologist. And he's like... Well, I was talking to the wife. The wife really, the first time I met her, you know, first time I met her in years. I, I, don't, think, I don't think I ever met her. I was shocked because I was walking over and she's like, Jerry? I'm like, you know, how do I know her? Small world. I mean, I don't, I never really been to, uh, you know, their home and stuff like that. And, and tell me, you know, tell me this great story. I mean, we got a lot in. For someone just walking over getting cookies, we got a lot in. The art of the deal, negotiation, or whatever, just talking, communication, you know, you, and just like the North Korean thing, it's not going to be a one thing, it's not going to go in there and just talk, after 67 years, it's going to be a few times, you know, it's going to, it's going to explain, I mean, this, this guy knows how to talk to people, how to get things done. Now we have our friend over here, the atheist that we talked to yesterday. He seems to be, uh, I guess he's from Canada, maybe. And we looked at, it was a new one. There was a new thing there that they put up. Something about, well, the thing with Christians again. And they say, look at, well, I take that back. In the post it said, you know, religious fanatics. Look, religious fanatics have made this place a hell. Has made has made made it a hell. I was gonna ask, like you know, define religious fanatics, like which one in particular? Because um, what was I watching last night? Oh, the Belmont Stakes, Justified. And to me, just my opinion, I don't know. I think they let the horse win. I don't know. But you look in the stands, you look at Bob Baffert, you look at all the people there, you know, all the nice beautiful outfits and all this kind of stuff and in the way they're shaking hands you know they're all prestigious you know they're all important people you know they all have lots and lots of money compared to the rest of the population the world like the middle class the people that are still there they can keep on throwing shade to it and they can keep on coming up with all these stories those people are still there and then Bill Maher he comes out he says you know he wants He's hoping for a recession. That's the only way to save democracy, is to hope for a recession. And then Jeffrey Tubin, I think that's how you say his name, Jeffrey Tubin, um, from CNN, he's like, um, Trump is doing this as a stunt, you know, offering the pardons. I mean, this is, this is a beautiful idea. I mean, forget what they're saying, forget their negative things. He's saying he just wants to keep arguing with black people. This is on CNN. You know, they were showing it. You know, Judge Jeannie was like, look at this. Look. And then, like, on the water show, they, they were showing other things, too, of, uh, you know, the, these pundits, these commentators, what they say on these shows. But let's, let's reel it back in. Let's reel it back in here. That is a beautiful idea. I mean, to get it started. He's offering. And then they had the mayor. The, the mayor of Philadelphia doing dances. What is his town? He's the mayor. This this is uh, bizarre to me. I know. Uh, reel it in, reel it in. Ash, hey, calm down. He's in there dancing and stuff like that. With, with all the problems going on and everything. And he thinks this is a joke. So anyways. Um, thank you, Twinkles. Yeah, no problem. You need your water or something like that? No, I'm good. So, um, so here he's just laying it down. He's like, all right. If you think anyone has been mistreated unfairly. You know, he's talking to the players, you know. 
tell me. I'll look into it. We'll pardon him. You know, or, or, or we'll get rid of, you know, we'll get rid of entirely and everything. You know, whatever's going on. We want to look at these things. I mean, you're getting something here. You're getting something. There's something right there. It's a start. It's a start. You know? And now, the, the, you know, MSNBC and CNN and all the liberal talk radio, they're going to go all over this. You know, there's a stop. In the name of justice, stop. Stop. Stop this. Stop this train. Stop this crazy train. <clears throat> Excuse me. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? A start. Why? What, what, what are you processing in the, in the first place? What is it? What is it? And who's going to get things done? In the history of protesting, what usually happens? Do things get better? Every country, not just this country, just think about it. People have been protesting for years and years and years and years. Does it get better? You know? We have someone right now in there who's willing to help as many people as he possibly can. You might think I'm crazy, but I'm not the only one. <laughs>